Squint's here. <laughs> oh. All right, we can just start that. Just going over some tips for you to kind of plan your workout. Every workout that comes out and that we do in the open or in general every day, you should come up with a game plan for that workout. Okay, so game plans can be based off a couple things, the time duration of the workout and also whether or not it involves technical skills. Okay, so the shorter the workout, usually the more you can come out of the gate a little bit faster. Okay, with that being said though, there's also short workouts that involve really technical skills such as pull-ups, um, our muscle ups, muscle ups, handstand push-ups and so forth. So just a few examples. Um, seven minutes of burpees. Burpees is not a much technical skill, so you can probably come out the gate a little bit quicker because you know you're not. It's, you're going to get tired, but it's not going to be. Um, you're not going to slow down because of the skill aspect. Another open workout from last year was the bar muscle ups and power snatch. Still another short workout, but with bar muscle ups involved, it's a technical skill that you're going to have to game plan for. Break it up into small sets earlier on, so you don't fatigue out. And then also with long workouts, the same thing. You got to break down the workout, look at exercises that you're strong at, that you're weak at. And just because you're strong at an exercise, if it's paired up with the one that you're really weak at, does not necessarily mean you want to go through your strength super quick, because then you're going to get back to your weakness too fast where you don't get to recover. So you kind of got to break down each workout and just kind of realize um, what pace you want to start with and uh, just try to maintain it and also kind of come up with a backup plan. So if you start to get more fatigue than you thought earlier on, you have a backup plan um, where you don't freak out then in the middle of a workout. Um, recognize muscle failure exercises such as push-ups, handstand push-ups, pull-ups. There's an old open workout with deadlifts, box jumps, and push-ups. And everybody thought the push-ups were nine reps at they were easily gonna get there. It's just nine push-ups per round. How easy can that be? But over a long period of time, if you come out the gate and do the first four or five rounds unbroken, and then you get to start to the point where you're doing two or one at a time, in the long run of that workout, you're probably gonna get a worse score than whether you would break up those push-ups maybe three, three, three from the very beginning and be able to keep moving throughout the whole time duration instead of going one rep at a time. So I said, just every workout, kind of look at it, be true to yourself, Look at workouts, recognize what you're good at, what you're bad at, if it's gonna be a high skill that you're not good at, or uh, whether there's no high skill or not, whether it's just running in burpees, and then break up and come up with a game plan and a backup plan for it. What is your prediction for, what is it, 17.1? Uh, it's so hard, it's the first one, it can be anything. Um, let's see, Sam Briggs is in it, so. I think they tend to favor the athletes that are in the workout to their strengths. So um, some kind of, I think it's not going to be a heavy weight or anything like that. It's going to be a more longer aerobic workout. Let's just say that. I don't know about the exercises.